Our second stop on this Lenten station pilgrimage is the Church of St. George in Velabro. Lily, do you know what the word Velabro means? Yes, we record this video like six times already. Hmm. What does it mean? It means marshy land. <laughs> marshy land. Right, and that is because we are just across from the Tiber River, and this area of Rome used to flood all the time, and so they had to build a sewer outside this church to drain the water from the marsh, right? So when the city would flood, there was a specific event that occurred. Two little babies washed ashore named Romulus and Remus. Do you know who Romulus is? The founder of Rome. That's right, he's the, <laughs> the founder of Rome. Okay. So originally this church was dedicated to St. Sebastian. Do you know St. Sebastian? He's the person who was killed by arrows. Yes, killed by arrows. He was actually martyred just outside this church and his body was thrown into the sewer. Pretty gross, huh? But now the church is dedicated to St. George and it is today's stop. Let's have a look around. In the 8th century, this area of Rome was heavily populated with Greeks. The Pope at the time decided to move the relics of another Greek, a dragon slayer named George, to this church. Today you can see the top of his skull under the main altar. Sometimes in Rome, if you're lucky, you'll come across a choral group performing in a church. Today was one of those days. Jesus. 